200 mètres. Tournez à droite. Tournez à droite. Tournez à droite. À 200 mètres, tournez à gauche. Tournez à gauche. atteint votre destination. The EAT has a silky smooth V6 diesel. It'll do 155 miles an hour on the road, but where we're going, we won't need roads. First up, it's a trip to the top of Glen Rannoch by any means necessary and against the clock naturally. But don't worry, it has knobbly tires and a roof rack for carrying extra knobbly tires. À 400 mètres, tournez à gauche. Tournez à gauche. Nouveau calcul de l'itinéraire. Well, it is a Mercedes wagon, so it's tough. And if you really want to smash stuff up, there's even a pickaxe in the back. says you need an SUV to go off-road. The EAT has four-wheel drive and air suspension to smooth out lumps and bumps and everyday obstacles. Ancient burial mound. Time. Actual air suspension. À 200 mètres, tournez à gauche. Tournez à droite. À 400 mètres, tournez à droite. It also has 340 horsepower, more torque than a cruise ship, and gets to 60 miles an hour in just over five seconds. to head way over there, to the very top of Arthur's seat. But first, what goes up must come down. Faites demi-tour dès que possible. Nouveau calcul de l'itinéraire. À 
200 mètres. Tournez à droite. Faites demi-tour dès que possible. À 200 mètres, tournez à gauche. It's full of home comforts, the EAT. Charges for almost anything you can charge. Cozy ambient lighting, even a portable espresso machine. Everything the intrepid explorer could ever need. demi-tour dès que possible. Au rond-point, prenez la première sortie. All right, all these adventure kits had a tiny effect on the fuel efficiency. Good job the roof rack holds two cans of diesel, and there's another one in the back. Just don't confuse them with your drinking water. Nouveau calcul de l'itinéraire. Au rond-point, prenez la première sortie. Onto the final stretch now. Just the small matter of getting up Arthur's seat. The clock's ticking, so better step on it, Stiggy. That's a four-wheel drive car on mud tires, completely sideways. You'd do well in rallying with skills like that. Top draw drifting, I reckon. À 100 mètres, tournez à gauche. There we go, the top of Arthur's seat. No idea who Arthur is, by the way, or why his seat's so big. Nice view, though. Shame there's no time to stick around.